Well, I took everything, all the accessories off of this wreath. I've already used it already for a uh, fall wreath, and now I'm going to make a Halloween one out. I have this uh, pumpkin face, and that's what I'm going to put underneath it. And I have these spiders that I'm going to put all the way around that are going to be orange and green. And, um, and then we'll see what else I put on it. You know, Grandma likes a lot of variety on her pumpkin. So I might put a few more things on top of it. What do you think? Does it look a little creepy with all these spiders crawling all over this pumpkin? Or does it look okay to you? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I may end up redoing it. I don't know. I'm going to try to make sure that all my spiders stay put. And as you know, I don't like to use a hot glue gun on my yarn uh, wreath. So I'm going to carefully put them in here like I did this one and get the little legs sort of stuck in the Lucy yarn so they'll stay in place. Well, I got them all stuck in there now. Hopefully when I pick it up, they're not going to be falling off. I'm going to now put this in the living room and we'll take a picture of it and let you see how it looks. The total cost of this project was under $3. How could that be, Grandma? Because the Lucy yarn wreath I've made and have used on multiple times now. So this is not new, and that's why I love these loop de yarns. You can do so many neat things with them. Okay, so that's what I did with this. And a uh, dollar for the pumpkin, because it was from Dollar Tree, so that brought it to one dollar. And I didn't even use two full packages, so maybe a dollar and a half for the spiders. So that's about two and a half dollars. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me. On a project for Halloween. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I am going to uh, go hang this on the wall and we're going to see how it's going to look. Now this wreath was had other items on it. I took everything off. Normally I use it for Christmas and now I'm going to use it for Halloween. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. Now let's see what I do with it. Well, put in the comment section what you think about it since I'm done. Uh, if it needs more or if it looks fine. I, I might put a couple more things with it. But I sort of want to just stay with simplicity, the black and white theme. And uh, I think I'm going to be happy with it just like this. I'm going to hang it up so you can see what it looks like. Well, here it is. Personally, I love it. I don't want to be overdone. I love my yarny. Reefs I put together and you can redo them so many different ways. In fact, I think I love this even more than the pumpkin. I was going to put the pumpkin back up, but now that I see this, I think I'm leaving this up. It puts so much humor in it. I love that big smile the ghost has. And then of course the skeleton looks so handsome in his top hat. And he's all dressed to the nine. I really did enjoy it. Please leave me a comment and tell me which one of these wreaths you like the best. Wreath one with the pumpkin or wreath two with the ghost and the skeleton. I like this one the best. This is my favorite. You let me know what your favorite is. This one cost me a whopping two dollars. Two dollars! You know grandma, repurpose, repurpose, repurpose. Don't spend any more money than you have to. Reuse as many items as you already own. I loved it. Bye bye for now, my awesome followers. Let me know what you think about these two wreaths that I put together today. A total of $4.50 for two. You can't go any cheaper than that. And they both look nice. Bye bye for now, my awesome, awesome followers. See you in the next video and see what Grandma does next. Kisses and hugs. And don't forget, Grandma does home... See, let's start over again. Grandma's channel is designed for adults interested in gardening, home decor, cooking, cleaning, DIY projects. This is a DIY. I did it with my very own little hands. I even made the wreaths by myself. 
and I am now doing inspirational talks also every week. Grandma just keeps adding to her things that she does on her channel, doesn't she? Bye bye for now, my awesome, awesome friends and family. Bye bye for now. More kisses for all of you that stay to the very end.